This is Pastor Richard, and you are watching Anchored in Christ, a vlog from St. Paul's Lutheran Church to know what we believe and why we believe it to be Anchored in Christ's word for us. Now this week we're looking at Luke chapter 10, and it is the text where Jesus sends out the 72, the 72 to go out to all the nations. Let's pull that up here and check that out for a second here. As we see in Luke chapter 10, we see here that the Lord appointed 72 and he sent them ahead of him two by two. And he goes on to say that the harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. Now, there's a couple things we want to point out in this text uh, in when we teach it to others, especially our Sunday school children. And that is this, uh, the 72. Why the 72 here? Why on earth are there 72? Well, that dates back to Genesis chapter 9. If you can recall Genesis chapter uh, 8 to 9 in that section there is the story of Noah and that great flood. And after the flood, we see that there are 72 nations. There's 72 uh, descendants of Noah that come forth. So by the sending of the 72, that really communicates to us that Jesus is interested in that gospel going to what? Get this, all nations, to all nations indeed. And that is the beautiful thing about our gospel message, the proclamation of this word. It is a message not just for a select few, but it is for all people, regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of their sex, regardless of all these other things uh, that we hear, that there's neither male nor female, Jew nor Greek, that this message is for all nations. Uh, and that also ties back to Matthew 28 as well. Go therefore into all nations, baptizing and teaching, making disciples indeed. And so the 72 really points that uh, to that principle that this gospel is for everyone. Now there's a couple other things here to point out in Luke chapter 10, and that, that is this. Uh, it's very interesting right here uh, in verse 4. It says, go uh, carry no money bag, no knapsack, and no sandal. Uh, what is going on there? Well, it's really quite simple, is that Christ is calling them to go with just the message and not to bring anything else that might entice people to follow that gospel message or embrace or to hear that gospel message. Uh, so often in the American church and so often when we do missions, we're oftentimes enticed to bring something else as, um, how would we say this, as a way of enticing people to uh, grab a hold of the gospel. But here, uh, it is just essentially Christ is sending them without all of these other things, but just the the gospel itself, the gospel with a period. Uh, could we say it this way? The nude gospel, the gospel in of itself, the simple message of Jesus, and that is it. And so we can see that as, as a, a point of this text. Now there's another part here of this, and that is this. The section here, let me part, find that section here. It says, and remain in the same house, eating and drinking what they provide for you. Uh, so we also hear this when Jesus sends uh, the 12 disciples. He says, when you get into a town, stay with the house and don't move around. In other words, think about this. In other words, don't use the gospel for your advancement, materially speaking. So it would be very enticing to come into a town, proclaim the gospel, and then be at a house. And then somebody else says, hey, you know what? I hear what you're proclaiming. Come over to my house. I have actually a bigger bedroom for you to use, and I have more amenities that you can be taken a part of. And then we can then use the gospel as a stepping stone to advance um, in our comfort and advance in um, maybe that society. And so then the gospel can be perceived as something that a disciple is peddling to increase his social agenda or increase his comfort levels. So again, Christ is sending out 72 to all nations. Uh, don't bring any gimmicks. Don't bring anything else out. Just bring the gospel itself. Proclaim that in of itself, the gospel with a period, the nude gospel for all people. And when you get into a town, stay in that town and don't use the gospel as something to advance yourself to greater degrees of comfort in that society. Stay in one spot so that there are no agendas attached to it. So when we teach this to our, our youth and we contemplate for ourselves, uh, we see, again, the gospels for all nations the gospel alone with the period and not using the gospel for an advancement of the uh, missionaries being sent out. Uh, it's very, very simple, but yet very profound to think about. So I hope that helps as we contemplate this and we'll catch you next time.